हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू आवर डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कोर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वाज अबाउट मिक्सिन नाउ इन टुडे ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फैक्टरी कंस्ट्रक्टर इन डॉट अ फैक्टरी कंस्ट्रक्टर इज अ स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टर दैट अलाउज यू टू रिटर्न एन एग्जिस्टिंग इंस्टेंस ऑफ अ क्लास और अ डिफरेंट सब क्लास इंस्टेंस फ्रॉम द कंस्ट्रक्टर इटसेल्फ rather than always creating a new instance this can be useful for scenarios where you want to control the creation logic of objects now let me open vs code and show you what is factory constructor here uh, we already have a main function now we will create a class here uh, here i will create a class post and inside this class for example uh, there are two variables string variables uh, title and body so we can create uh, two or more variables like this in single line we already discussed so uh, don't confuse now for example uh, there is a uh, normal constructor you can say it normal constructor or a generative constructor we can create it like this this dot title and this dot body so this is called a generative constructor or normal constructor let me show you how to use this constructor uh, let me create an object of post post and here i can pass title and body uh, for now uh, let me uh, pass dummy data like this so this is called a simple constructor or generative constructor we already used this constructor in our previous tutorials now i will show you what is factory constructor now for example i have a data here in form of map you can say it map uh, type string dynamic for example uh, this is data and in this uh, for example i have title key this is title and here uh, for example body this is body now for example i have a data in form of a uh, map this is map now for example i want to create object of our post class by using this data this uh, map data how i can uh, create so here a uh, factory constructor is very important now let me create factory constructor by using factory keyword you can see here factory keyword after that we can uh, use our uh, class name post post we cannot create uh, with a uh, same name because we already have a constructor with same name so here we will use dot from map here we will pass map inside our uh, this constructor like this now here we need to return object of our post class return post and here we need to pass title and body so we will get our title and body from this map here map title space map body like this so our factory constructor is ready now let me use it so now here instead of using post we will use here post dot from map you can see here from map here we will pass our map data you can see simply now our object is ready so this is the use of factory constructor we can create object of our post class by using map data so this is very important when we use uh, apis in our uh, application let me show you some uh, example open uh, your browser and type here uh, fake api here you will see a website uh, json placeholder free fake a restful apis open this link here you will see uh, example apis fake apis scroll down and here you will see post under resources you will see posts click post here you can see this is sample data 
this is in form of json or map you can say it json or map for example uh, we have an application that uses apis to communicate with server so when we will fetch data from our server it will be in form of json so data will not be in form of dot objects it will be json in form of json you can say it json so we need to convert this data into our uh, dot object so we will convert this data into our dot object by using factory constructor so this is the use of factory constructor you can name it as from map or from json or anything now for example we have thousands of posts now you can see this data is uh, in form of json let me copy it all the data here let me copy it and uh, paste it into our separate file let me create a separate file dot file data dot dot like this and here let me store data in a list data list and here inside list let me paste this data now you can see this data in form of list this is in form of list now we will use this data now we will modify our post class according with this data we already have body and title but now we will add user id and id these both are integers let me show you here here before uh, this string i will create integer id and user id like this here we also need uh, to write this dot id and this dot user id like this now while creating object here we will pass everything uh, let me format this map id and map user id sorry here id in string like this now we will use this data uh, this data list inside our this file here first of all we need to import this file import data dot like this now here we will use for each loop here if i type data you can see we can access this data list dot for each loop here we will use for each loop and we will create objects one by one here before this for example uh, we have a list of post posts and this is empty list right and here we will add element into our posts post dot add here we will add post post dot from map you can see from map and here we can pass element you can see so each element in our uh, data this data each element is a json you can say it json or map so we will pass one by one element into our post dot from map and add this into our posts you can see list of post now after that here uh, we can print length of our posts uh, print in order to verify post dot length now if i run it here you can see it is printing 100 it means we have 100 posts in our uh, post list so this is the way we can convert our json or map data into our dot object in quickly so here we can print for example i want to print title and body of our first uh, post post dot first dot title here we can uh, print title you will see title here you can see it is printing title here for example i want to print body now it will print body here you can see it is printing body so this is the way we can convert our json or map objects into our dot object it is also called json parsing
so this is very very important topic in our dot language so if you have any question in your mind you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on whatsapp okay good luck